Good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, today is June twelfth. I'm happy to be here in front of you. Um, I just want to say that uh, I was very happy to uh, be at the carnival this weekend and uh, see all that turned out and all the uh, people from the neighborhood that turned out. And I hope that uh, our love and uh, uh, care toward them uh, will result in uh, some fruit uh, in their lives and uh, fruit for the church. Um, let me pray. Please, Lord, uh, guide us today. Uh, keep your watchful eye over us. Uh, let us be a people, this people of your church, this group together to join this morning and more. Uh, be a people that uh, are uh, cognitive of everything that they do, that uh, we may always present um, face that uh, you would want us to have before each, before each other and before others who don't know us so that they would see your love in us and that uh, we would be able to care for them and minister to them and uh, bring others to you. We pray all these things in, in, your, in your son's precious name. Amen. Okay, so this morning um, our reading comes to us again from Lamentations. It's called a call to repentance. It's uh, chapter 3, verses 40 to 54. Let us examine our ways and test them, and let us return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts and hand our, in our hands to God in heaven and say, We have sinned and rebelled, and you have not forgiven. You have covered yourself with anger and pursued us. You have slain without pity. You have covered yourself with a cloud so that no prayer can get through. You have made us scum and refuse among the nations. All our enemies have opened their mouths wide against us. We have suffered terror and pitfalls, ruin and destruction. Streams of tears flow from my eyes because my people are destroyed. My eyes will flow unceasingly, without relief, until the Lord looks down from heaven and sees. What I see brings grief to my soul because of all the women of my city. Those who were my enemies without cause hunted me like a bird. They tried to end my life in a pit and threw stones at me. The waters closed over my head, and I thought I was about to perish. Amen. Well, <clears throat> you know, all throughout Lamentations, uh, it's like uh, a crying recount, a sad recount um, of all that has happened to Jerusalem. Um uh, Jeremiah, you know, at first he warned the people uh, uh, what would happen. Uh, nobody listens. Uh, as they constantly turn away from the Lord. They uh, set really set themselves up. Uh, so the Lord, you know, being just, he had to punish them. And he, he punished them by uh, having their enemies just run roughshod over the whole place, <coughs> destroying all that they had that was secure, gates and walls, uh, uh, killing uh, young and old uh, and scattering the people throughout the land. And as he recounts all this and uh, he's looking and, and just crying, crying out to the Lord, he, through our lamentations, he goes over and he sees um, all that has happened and then it, eventually he also starts to see, um, uh, he also starts to cry out to the Lord, not just recounting what happened, but begging and uh, really, truly uh, feeling sorry, um, uh, repenting uh, to the Lord. And because of this repentance, he's, goes over exactly what the, what they've done over and over again uh, uh, incredibly sorrowfully and and now he starts to see that <clears throat> maybe as children that are God's children maybe as children that they've been so um, disciplined that maybe um, that uh, there'll be hope in the end and that the Lord will will help them. The Lord will save them from their enemies because um, things couldn't get any worse. Uh, just he himself, 
who uh, was thrown into a big pit um, and uh, left there to die, uh, he uh, thought he was about to perish, but uh, the Lord will save him there too. And just as uh, uh, Jeremiah would be saved, we pray to the Lord that no matter what we've done, uh, because we are repentant, that uh, if we are repentant, big, big key, that uh, perhaps that he will change his outlook on us, you know, that we can make the Lord smile again. Uh, there's always that, um, that hope in us. So um, the Lord always forgives those who are repentant, but uh, he doesn't forget. So I want to pray, uh, Lord, as the day goes on, that uh, we acknowledge all the ways that we turn against you, that we sin against you, and that uh, because of such, that um, you will enable us to change our behavior, that you will uh, show us how to straighten our path and uh, how to fulfill our true purpose. Uh, and please, Lord, uh, forgive us for all we have done and show us the right way. We pray all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day.